Okay, so today we're going to go over the Link Electronics PCE845 closed caption uh, encoder for broadcast television. And we're going to just kind of go over some of its uh, main features and its connections. And we're later going to explain how to use it for live captioning and post-production captioning. Now, the first and foremost, you have your on and off switch. Um, you have the video presence, RS-22 data light. These will we'll explain how to use those later when it's connected to um, devices. We have a test button and a bypass button. And these indicators, the encode field 1 and field 2, these, ex these actually show you when you're actually sending data to these particular fields on the television. Now let's look at the back of this guy and go over some of the connections. Now first and foremost you're going to see a lot of connections and they're all BNC. Um, now a lot of people what they do is they they use an adapter to connect the BNC because uh, they only have RCA's uh, cables going into their television set. So usually um, you'll have this guy which is a BNC to RCA adapter and then you can just plug in RCA cables into this guy. RCA cables, if you're not familiar with them, they, they look just like this. So to connect with this guy, it's a video RCA connector, to one of these guys, you have to use this adapter. You basically plug this in that way, and then you can interface with these adapters, these connections in the back of your Lincoln encoder. Now let's explain what some of these are. First and foremost, you have your NTSC inputs. Okay, so whatever you're going to close caption, you're going to first plug it into this. This sends a signal into the encoder. So say if I'm plugging in an RCA cable, I would plug in this adapter and then plug in my RCA cable from my VCR or video camera. This actually sends a video signal into the encoder. And then I'm going to go back out of the encoder out of these two guys right here, the encoder outputs or the decoder outputs. Now there's a big difference between one and the other. First and foremost, you know, you can plug in adapters to either one of them, so that's the same. But the differences are that the encoder sends out closed caption data to your TV. Closed caption data means that you can turn the text on and off using your television remote control. The decoder, however, sends the actual open captions. So that means you can't turn off the text on your screen, on your te television screen. They're always on. So decoder uh, applications for that usually include uh, to go into monitors that don't have a closed caption decoder, like a projector for example, which are not required to have a closed caption decoder. But the encoder is the most typical one. So we would plug this guy in, plug in another RCA, or you can plug in a BNC if you have one, that goes to your television set. The television set, if you use this guy, has to have closed captions turned on. Later on we'll discuss about that. The other thing that's really important when you plug in the NTSC input is that you have to have one of these plugged in to get the best possible quality. This guy is called uh, Video Terminator. Okay, You can get these from Radio Shack. And what this does is you can plug this guy in and it terminates the signal which gives it a better uh, video picture and it doesn't have any interference in your chain. There's other connections here that include um, inputs for component video and so forth. But today we're going to discuss the composite video input. It's important that you have this switch set to NTSC and not SVHS which will then switch to this adapter. So in this case if you're using these guys make sure that NTSC is selected. Another really important input here is called the RS-232 input. Now this guy is the one we're actually going to plug into the computer. The RS-232 actually plugs into a PC or a Mac that has a closed caption uh, program on it. Now then the PC closed caption software will then send captions right out to this guy and then the closed caption encoder, this guy, the Link Electronics, will then uh, send those 
those uh, commands out to your video screen. And that's basically how the link is set up.